Charles, who is this Granny Xena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So, what about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Eh, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. We're finally in the system. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right camera. Okay, let's open the gate. I don't see anything I can interact with. But I sense that the scanner in your glove can be activated while accessing the video camera. Let's try it. for me, would ya?
Fucker! Man.
Ah, we found the station. And the train is right there. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. Don't jinx it, Glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. There are bodies everywhere. They never saw the bots coming. No one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen it coming either. Robots pulled our country back from the edge of a cliff after the Brown Plague. A decade later, people believe civilian robots are dependable and helpful. It's a terrible shame. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 transportation system. I need to get to the VDNH right away. It will be my pleasure, comrade. The current load of the train line is 0%. You may depart immediately. Great, let's go. Assuming you have purchased a ticket. A, a ticket? A fucking ticket? Are you stupid? There are corpses everywhere. There's an emergency protocol in effect over the entire facility. Start the train right now. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. I do not detect any signs of pregnancy. Show me a note from the gynecologist. I'll show you signs of pregnancy, you piece of shit. If you have a mental disability, please present your disability certificate. That's it. You're fucked. Comrade Major, note that this particular Rafik is not an autonomous system. He is the high-speed train vortex. Destroying him will permanently disable the train. All right. Listen here, you lousy hunk of junk. Where do I get your fucking ticket? You may purchase it at the nearest ticket window. There are special discounts available for passengers traveling with children. Uh, what ticket window, you dumb shit? They're closed. Everyone's dead. Nobody's selling tickets. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. Cram it, you prick. I'll end up hoofing it all the way to the VDNH at this rate. Are you sure you haven't lost your marbles like those other robots? You're not gonna crash the train and kill us, are ya? Passenger safety is the foremost concern of any robotic vehicle. Our algorithms? I've seen what your algorithms can do. Charles, is there a neuropolymer capsule with a train manual on it in this station? You can drive the Vortex yourself if we find one. Unfortunately, this station isn't a transit hub. There won't be a manual capsule here. Oh, fuck. A unique train? What makes it so special? Does it fly through the air or something? Thanks to the revolutionary maglev transportation system developed by Chalamet engineers, Vortex high-speed train can reach incredible speeds with no inconvenience to the passengers. An inextricable part of the neural network, Vortex independently adjusts its speed and schedule based on the number of passengers on trains and in waiting areas. Following the launch of Collective 2.0. Enough, I get it. I'm almost out of time. Fine, whatever. I'm out of here. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victims. Shit. Do I have to?
Your service, not glad. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go.
Can I have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run. You can make it. Leave the area. I can't. I'm the guy who's going to clean up this mess. This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the robots. I'm guessing your ticket's expired then, huh? I have a monthly pass. Has it been a month yet? How long have I been lying here? Ah, it hasn't been a month. Mind if I borrow your pass, comrade? You don't need it anymore. And that fucking Rafik on the train is busting my balls. You saw a Rafik? Do not approach it under any circumstances. Rafiks kill you if you try talking to them. They sure do. Talking to that metal moron is making me want to kill myself. So how about that pass? What about it? Have you got a pass or not? I have. Take it. It's, it's in my pocket. I can't reach it. I'll get it. Thanks, comrade. Do not approach graphics. They're dangerous. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 Transportation System. Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you bloodsucker? Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? It could speed up the departure of the train. Maybe because I didn't have it back then. Are you saying this isn't your ticket? Riding with someone else's ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. What did you just say? Please do not worry. Having analyzed the situation, I came to the conclusion that you are a law enforcement officer investigating an emergency. It is obvious that you are allowed to travel free of charge under the current circumstances. <laughs> Are you serious? Feel free to take any available seat. The train is departing in 10 seconds. Wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. The train is now departing. Next stop, Solnechnaya Station. Charles, Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed? That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? for dirt nap stuck. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Seishinov say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like, now. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the, uh, okay. Uh, Comrade Seishinov wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? 
Okay, fair enough. Oh, Anything yeah. else? Uh, Comrade Sechenov asked me to give you this. Pretty here. Just like Moscow. Better, actually. More futuristic. And on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design. The quick brown fox! Jumps over the lazy dog. His mind is completely gone. I can't keep going like that. Please, enough. Oh, poor guy. Pain is the last thing he can remember. Tough luck. I can't work so much. I need at least one day off. This must be one of the developers working on Collective 2.0 software. They had a few difficult days before the neural network update. And brutal deadlines. Same old story. Well, it's a Forgive us! You're We fucked everything! He has expired. Charles, I keep thinking, what's up with their voices? As far as I can tell, the talking corpse's polymer memory is transmitting an audio stream through the interactive speech module installed in the thought device's voice assistant. So, in other words, they talk through the neurocontroller? So it would seem. When the thought controllers were initially distributed, only two voice profiles had been created, a male one and a female one. That's why their voices seem so similar. Needless to say, these people spoke quite ordinarily when they were alive. But they promised to significantly increase the range of voice profiles. Is that why you've got that weird, wheezy voice? It's rude to mock a man for something that is beyond his control, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. I was just messing with you. You've got a nice, sultry baritone. <laughs> a man. Come on, not that hooker bot again. Access granted.
ofensivo naval. Protected by the enemy. More robots will arrive shortly. God, are you ever gonna give it a rest? Locked. What else is new? Charles, open it. Unfortunately, I lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? I'll deal with it.
room contains the